jumped out to an 8-0 lead, it seemed like it was very, very much this tonight. Mm -hmm. Offensively, things were working really defensively. Those first, I think you held them like two points for the first five or six minutes mm -hmm. of the game. Defensively, what was working in those first couple of minutes? Yeah, I think that was probably some of the best defense we've played. Um, our guys, uh, you know, were, were keyed into what they were trying to do and, uh, you know, were really executing the things that we were trying to take away from them, you know, and uh, we got a little, little bit of foul trouble and started having some, uh, you know, different lineups that maybe aren't as, as used to working together. But, um, you know, uh, we, we have to play. It's one of the things I shared with the team at the end, you know, was uh, they ran the same play in the second half almost every time. And two out of five times we would defend it perfectly. And the other three times they would get the shot they were looking for. And so we just have to be consistent and make sure we do it the same way every time. And uh, there's a reason that we're doing it a certain way and uh, make sure that they um, you know, continue to do what works rather than make it up as they go. What were the biggest adjustments that you guys made at halftime? Um, well, I think one of it was just you know, having uh, the groups together that we're used to playing together. That was one. Um, the second one was we challenged them a little bit. You know, the uh, offensive rebounding for us was not very good in the first half. Um, you know, we, we just, um, we wanted them to, to execute, you know, we, we were, we had something we were trying to run and it was like when we ran it, it was, it was a, oh, wow, that actually worked, you know, and then we go four or five possessions and we would, you know, a guy would be in the wrong place or the wrong guy would set the screen or, you know, just little things like that. Part of it is, is the newness for some of these guys. And part of it was just poor execution and, you know, I, uh, apparently that uh, you know I didn't communicate well enough to them. Hey, this is what I expect. So uh, I think it was a little bit of both. Uh, you know, from a coaching perspective, we got to do a better job of communicating and you know drawing it out specifically, especially when there's a lot of guys on the floor together that aren't used to playing together in practice. And then uh, you know our guys have to you know they have to execute what they know. So. This was a really, I don't know, we don't talk about the officials in here a lot, but this was a really tight game, both sides, um, from an officiating standpoint. I think 41 fouls called mm -hmm. the game. From your, from your coaching perspective, how do you change, you know, how do you talk to the guys and, and instruct them, especially because of the, the foul game so yeah. high? Yeah, <clears throat> you know, you have to play with, um, within what the officials will let you do. And, um, you know, uh, you just have to, you have to play without fouling. I think they got a lot of fouls early in the first half, and the second half, you know, we kind of turned it around and fouled. You know, there was a few fouls that I was I thought maybe, eh, but for the most part, I thought you know they were the right calls, and we just we weren't where we were supposed to be, or we were late, a step late, or you know we had a lot of offensive fouls called tonight, and part of that was just you know not making the right choice. Instead of hitting the open guy, we tried to run somebody over, or we threw it to a big in the middle of the floor and expect him to catch it, and you know, and he's got a guy standing right there. So, um, you know, part of that is just uh, on us, and and part of it is is us learning how to play the game that's being officiated. And overall, I was was not disappointed, you know, with with their effort and the stripes. Obviously, we look at this one and it's a win, but mm -hmm. it was a little bit of an ugly win. And going yeah. going for this though, you know, especially as a, a quick turnaround, you've got another game tomorrow afternoon. What do you take from tonight? Because again, a win is a win. Yeah, I think we finished well. You know, my my captains made plays. Yeah. You know, Ray, um, you know, hits a three, huge three, and then makes two free throws. And Kyle gets a, you know, an offensive rebound at the free throw line. Just you know, that's that's the experience that they have, and it was good to see them, you know, make that play at that time. Um, you know, tomorrow Kentucky, they they're you know they got some great shooters on the floor, and we're going to have to really defend well, um, and. You know, it is a quick turnaround, so you know they're soaking in the ice right now and trying to get fluids and all that. So, uh, hopefully, it'll be a uh, a good physical turnaround from them. You know, we'll get together in the morning and walk through and prepare for Kentucky a little bit more, and then you know, be ready to play at four. All right. Thank you, coach. Thanks.